we've had this many folks at a, at a Rotary event, so this is fantastic. So uh, welcome to our, what traditionally has been called Charter Night, uh, where we celebrate the Rotary year end and induct our new officers for the Rotary year. So first of all, if you'll bow with me, I'll, I'll return things. Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful summer evening. Uh, we thank you for the rain that some of us had yesterday, and we thank you for all of our blessings, and we ask that you bless this food that we are about to re receive, and that we use it to your service. And we ask that you keep us mindful that our purpose for serving in Rotary is to make the world and our community a better place for all, all to live. And, and thank you for allowing us to serve. And we ask this in your name. Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, the food will be out shortly, but I'm going to go ahead and just, just have a few remarks. Uh, we've had a great Rotary year this year. Uh, we won the, the Platinum Award, uh, our club did, uh, which is the highest award that a Rotary Club can win in our district. So let's give ourselves a round. <laughs> Starting July 1st, we will be celebrating Jonesboro Rotary's 40th year as a club. So let's give ourselves another one. Our club secretary, Neil Jensen, is uh, showing our Heisman Trophy, the, uh, our, our, our Platinum Award plaque. Thank you, Neil. Uh, we also, for the second time in our 39 years, we are a Triple Crown Award winning club. Uh, in 2007, we wore a triple crown club, and at that time, out of over 35,000 clubs in the world, Jonesboro was the fifth club in the world to achieve triple crown. And, and so we achieved it again this year, and, and what the criteria is this year was every member uh, has to give in the club at least a hundred dollars a year to the Rotary Foundation and that's kind of easy because we have built into our due system $25 a quarter goes to the foundation so every member pays your dues so in four quarters every member pays a hundred dollars a year but you would be surprised uh, there's very few clubs in the world uh, have that kind of system built into their dues. So, and, and I was surprised, I, I read uh, somewhere recently that uh, only about 30% of club presidents even contribute a dollar to the foundation. You know, I, I was amazed when, when, I, when I saw that. But, but anyway, you know, uh, all the clubs, well not all the clubs, most of the clubs in our whole district use that format. Uh, the second criteria for Triple Crown, uh, thanks to our past <laughs> district governor, Debbie Scott, is every member in the club contributes at least $100 to polio plus. Uh, Rotary, since about 1985, one of the major goals is to eradicate polio from the face of the earth. And so to achieve Triple Crown, every member of the club, if you donate, contribute at least $100 uh, per member. That's the second criteria. And Debbie and her husband, Russell, uh, really stepped up and helped us a bunch. Uh, Paul Harris Society, if, he, if a member donates $1,000 a year to the foundation or to Polio Plus, you become a member of the Paul Harris Society. And Debbie and Russell both did that. Plus our club uh, stepped up and we had a bourbon auction. A lot of the satellite members, you know, we, we raised over $5,000 in an hour at the bourbon auction. A lot, a lot of that money went to Polio Plus. Uh, plus, mem members stepped up and and agreed to donate $100 uh, to Polio Plus. Anyway, 
we averaged one hundred and forty four dollars a member for polio plus. And anyway, give us a break. And the third criteria is every member becomes a Paul Harris fellow. And what that means is every member is credited with a thousand points, which translates to a thousand dollars to the uh, the Rotary Foundation. And we achieved that this year. Uh, every member didn't have to contribute a thousand dollars because uh, some of the old members, like myself, and like maybe uh, Larry Aiken, maybe, <laughs> and we had a lot of points accumulated. So I could give some of my points to a newer member and get them up to a thousand and so forth. So if we had enough points accumulated where we could make every member a, a, get a thousand. So we were 100% all Harris Fellow Club. So we achieved it. Trouble Frank. So that's, that's fantastic. <laughs> anyway, we've had, we've had a very, very good year. I'm very happy. Uh, I've been honored to serve as your president. And I'm also honored that my son Chad is going to follow my footsteps and take over the president. But, uh, he did send me an email today, and our next meeting, which will be July 11th, he said, Dad, uh, I'm going to be out of town. <laughs> so, so I'll be back at the podium on July 11th. So I'm not going to go too far. Uh, anyway, uh, that's. That's about all that I'm going to do now. I think the food is, is mostly out. Does it look like it is? Yes. Okay. Uh, let, let's go ahead and get our food, and then we'll... we'll uh, do it by table numbers. How about table numbers? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Are we good? To go on the food, Jeremy? Okay, let's go ahead and... Uh, mingle some more. Mingle some more. Let's go ahead and... Mingle some more. Have another drink if you like, get the food, and then uh, and then we'll uh, we'll have some awards to give out. Uh, Debbie will have a presentation, and we'll have a little bit more talking. But uh, let's just have a good time and celebrate tonight, and then we'll. Sounds like a good night. Just was. Just. Uh, let's let's get the program moving on again, folks. Uh, but really, continue continue to enjoy the food. It's, it's, don't feel embarrassed if you walk right by me and bump into me on the way to get another drink. That's absolutely fine. So, uh, let's continue to have fun, but uh, we gotta we gotta move along because I know everybody's got other things to do. We're gonna we don't want to be here all night, so I'm gonna go ahead and and get things moving along. But uh, uh, first of all, let's give Angie and her staff a big hand. <laughs> This food's been fantastic. So, uh, Angie, if you could come out, please. I don't know if she heard me, but. We also have homemade. year and the reason we've had a great year because of great great club members great Rotarians uh, and great community support but uh, as we always do at, at uh, our last club meeting of the year we recognize uh, Rotarians who, who uh, deserve recognition for our, our club achievements so at this time I want, I want to do that first of all I'm going to call Elvis Person. Uh, Elvis. Elvis. Yeah. Yeah. Elvis. Yeah. Elvis is one of our newest members, and and I, I Elvis joined the club back in March uh, and officially became a member in April. And I I neglected to. Uh, to get a new member certificate for Elvis. So I wanted at this tonight, I want to recognize Elvis in front of everyone. 
So, Elvis, here's your official membership certificate. And Elvis, Elvis is a good friend of mine. Elvis used to work at Jones Printing. And Elvis had some health issues a few years ago and was not able to keep doing the physical kind of work that we do at Jones Printing. But now he works with the Salvation Army at the at the thrift store. Right. And he's doing a great job there. And, 14 years. And uh, he's been there a good while. And he was in the print shop back early in the year. And I invited him to the Rotary meeting. And he had decided he wanted to join us. So let's give Elvis a big hand. The next Rotarian I want to recognize uh, is not with us tonight. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, uh, she is in Greece. <laughs> <laughs> she offered to cancel her trip, and I, I said, "No, you go on, go on to Greece if that's what you want to do." But, uh, we give out uh, an award called Service Above Self Award. And the winner this year is Jamie Kulo. <laughs> Jamie is a member of our Satellite Club, and she has been an outstanding member. Uh, she, she took on the, the Bourbon Auction, which was uh, a fabulous success this year. As I said earlier, in, in a little over an hour, uh, the bourbon auction generated a little over five thousand dollars, and a lot of that went towards Polio Plus. Some of it went to our our, our charitable charitable budget char, or charitable budget, which uh, funds our local local charities such as the Temple Theater, uh, Salvation Army, other local nonprofits that we fund. And I did send. <coughs> Jamie uh, an email and I let her know that, <coughs> that she was winning this award so she knows it and when she's back at the next satellite meeting we will officially give her this this uh, award so anyway let's give Jamie <laughs> and it, and it was, it's probably probably like 2 a.m. in Greece now but we ought to, we ought to FaceTime her <laughs> The ne next person I want to recognize is uh, uh, a longtime member of our club, and it's not going to take you long to figure this out, but uh, this, this gentleman, year after year, uh, handles our pots of gold uh, round and he hounds us, he hounds us and hounds us, sell those raffle tickets. Uh, he also is involved with Shelterbox USA. Uh, he has been involved uh, internationally with Shelterbox, which is uh, an organization that for international disaster relief. Uh, he's just he's a club leader, uh, and and I love Jim Miller to death. And so for the uh, Cliff Peak, this is the Cliff Peak Award. Cliff Peak was uh, an inspiration to me and many members in our club. Uh, Cliff was a past district governor in New Jersey before he retired at Carolina Trace. So, so this year's Cliff Peak Award goes to all of our good buddy, Jim Miller. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, uh, we will be uh, the last thing we'll do tonight, we'll be drawing this year's winner, Pots of Gold. So before you leave, we're going to have a thousand dollar winner tonight. So. We're going to have several winners. $2,300. $2,300 will be given away tonight. So Jim, we appreciate everything you do and Cleveland Indians are having a pretty good year so far. <laughs> They're the Guardians. Jim, thank you. What? Ipswich Town. Ipswich Town, yes. Absolutely. Ipswich Town. If you watch, if you watch British soccer, root for Ipswich Town. All right. <laughs> Now you 
know, uh, John Burrow Rotary, we have a secret board. It's not just our regular board. It's kind of like the Federal Reserve. Does anybody know who was on the Federal Reserve? Nobody knows. And so every week I go to my mailbox and I have secret messages about Rotary. So I went out there a couple weeks ago when I had an envelope and my instructions were this year we are giving out the Lifetime Service Award for Jonesboro Rotary. And so I followed instructions. And this person uh, is instrumental in the club in international grants. This person has been past president several times. Uh, several years ago, probably 10, 15 years ago, we had a program called Character Plus that we, uh, we mentored fifth grade students in every school throughout the county. Uh, this person was the district grants chair, global grants chair for the entire district, 7690. Uh, this person sends out emails every month reminding us that we're going to do backpack pals at CUSC Thursday morning. And the Lifetime Service Award for 2024 goes to our good friend Larry Aiken. And don't ask me who the secret board is. I have no idea. Thank you, Larry. On a custom as I am, <laughs> I usually get uh, held out of speaking. But I want to say thanks uh, to this whole club. Uh, I've been in Rotary since 1979. And uh, what it's meant to me is the, is the world. Uh, literally, because I've had a chance to travel for Rotary all over the place. And I, I certainly appreciate the support that this club has given us. And, we, and we've got a reputation around the world for doing the right thing at the right time. And so thank you for this. Uh, and I've heard it on wherever I'm Thank you, Larry. Thank you, Larry. <laughs> All right. And the final award that I'm going to give out tonight is our most special award that we give out every year. And this goes to the Rotarian who has really stepped up this year and, and who, in my opinion, uh, deserves a special award. And this is the Rotarian of the Year Award. And it's not going to take long for you to figure this out, but this Rotarian is our satellite membership chairman. Uh, he's, he keeps a satellite, he's done a great job with the satellite club. Uh, satellite club membership has increased uh, 10 members this year. Uh, Jonesboro Rotary has 60 members in it now. And our club membership increased by 10 members this year. Uh, across the district, the district lost membership uh, district-wide this year. But our club increased 10 members. Uh, so David Miller, yeah. Rotary yeah. Number yeah. Yeah. David's done an awesome job. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. I've enjoyed it very much. Thank you, Doug. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Right. Now, this time, I'm going to uh, turn the program over to our, our past district governor, 7690. Best Did, word ever, passed. Yeah. Debbie Scott. Good day. So as some of y'all know, I did the Polio Plus uh, program that I do. And um, so who remembers the song that I sang? I sort of All About That Bass. <laughs> How many people know that song, It's All About That Bass? <laughs> of course, bass. <Thanks. laughs> well, there's another word that I added to that when I did that program because polio is found in the wastewater system. 
and that's how they find it in big cities, and that's how in New York they found, like, knew that there was a case, a 20-year-old ended up walking into the hospital, paralysis, but they knew, and they had let all the hospitals and everybody know. And so I sing this song because I'm hoping that everybody in our district when they hear Megan Trainer sing, it's all about that bass, about that bass, I change the word to, it's all about the poop, about the poop, about the poop. <laughs> now, you all will never, the rest of y'all, listen to that song the same way. I hope that you will remember polio, five-year-old children that could be crawling on the ground, and because of rotary, making a commitment in 1985 to eradicate polio forever. And as David said, we are almost there down to two countries. So David, you had committed and signed the Polio Plus form, and here is your certificate. All right, thank and you. Thank you so very much. I appreciate that. All right, thank you, David. John Ramsberger, you also signed the form oh, and made a commitment. Thank you. Terry, come on up. Terry signed the form. Yeah, Terry. And the commitment is the $100, which basically everybody, every Rotarian right now in Jonesboro, whether the uh, fundraiser did that for you. So obviously I do have some forms if you all would like to um, sign. And what you're just saying is that you're willing to give $100 a year um, until we eradicate polio. And hopefully that isn't any longer than five years. There is no rotary police, so that's okay if you can't do it. But as the club had already committed and we'll be probably doing fundraisers in the future, um, it makes it a lot easier. Neil, where's Neil? Neil also committed to Howard. Howard. Mom, okay. So Howard did also committed. So thank you all so much um, for that. And if you don't mind, I have forms. We are number one in our zone on forms. I am at 350, which kind of doesn't sound like very much. I started the year with 238, and we had been doing it for a couple years. Um, but the one next closest to me only has about 240. So obviously, um, I'm trying to get more forms signed. And Rotary International has now acknowledged a Polio Plus Society. And, and so there's this big push for the, this commitment so that we can finally eradicate polio and not have children. So I have been asked, which is always my honor, to install the new officers of the coming year. I love the energy of the new year. I love the energy of, of finishing a great year. And David, you have done a phenomenal job. Will you all please stand and give him a hand? Yeah, yeah. Neil 
Neil Dinson, Secretary. <laughs> Incoming officers. I took a shower after camp. <laughs> you have been chosen by your club because of the leadership which you have shown. <coughs> they believe you will uphold the high traditions of this club, that you will give the best of your executive ability to the furtherance of the interest of this club, and that you will carry forward the object of Rotary. My charge to you, the officers of the Jonesboro Rotary Club, is to look at this Rotary year as one in which you must share Rotary with others to help grow Rotary. Each of you can have a profound effect on someone this year, either here in Jonesboro or in North Carolina or somewhere in the world. There is someone in need and we must come to their aid. We must answer the call as we continue to create hope in the world. Mr. President, Chad Spivey, and David Miller, you both are charged with setting the tone and creating the vision for this club and our satellite club. You both are charged with maintaining the connection between Jonesboro and District 7690. You both hold the most important position in Rotary. If you are successful, our club is successful, our district and Rotary International has the opportunity to work towards more peace and world understanding. Rally your leadership team to work towards your club goals and always be willing to face the challenges that will arise this year with a fresh and positive outlook because we all have challenges all of the time. This coming year will be the best year of both of your Rotary journey. I know that you both will have a great year as you share the magic of Rotary. Now a side note, you're welcome Stephanie Urchek because I came up with Believe in the Magic of Rotary like four years ago when the theme came out I was like, oh my gosh, you're welcome. <laughs> oh for President. <coughs> David and Chad, if you could repeat after me, please. I do solemnly pledge. I do solemnly pledge. That I will faithfully. That I will faithfully. Execute the office of president and satellite chair. Execute the office of president. Satellite chair. Of the Jonesboro Rotary Club. Of the Jonesboro Rotary Club. And that I will. And that I will. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Support the district governor. Support the district governor. And Rotary International. And Rotary, and Rotary International. International. And that I will uphold. And that I will uphold. The Constitution. The Constitution. And bylaws of this club. And bylaws of this club. Peggy, as president elect. You are in a position to provide the president with strong support. Use this year to create an organization with an eye towards continuing this strong team leadership next year during your year as president. Give President Chad the support you would like to receive during your term as president. Jim Miller, as treasurer, your responsibility is to each and every club member. Your task is to ensure that club funds are applied properly and in a timely fashion. Rotary's greatest asset is the integrity by which we are known. Your integrity must be above all else to continue the confidence 
that we all place in the funds we give to Rotary and its programs. You must set the standard for the club in this regard. Neil, the club secretary, is vital to the performance of the Rotary Club. Probably the least appreciated position I think. <laughs> Keeping attendance is no longer required. But when used as a tool, you will be the first to know a member's decreased attendance and can address it before it becomes a serious problem. By not paying attention to the causes of decreased attendance, this club will suffer. So board of directors, David, I didn't get a list. Do we have any additional board of directors? Yes, we do. You could call those up. I forgot to ask you that ahead of time. We may not. <laughs> How about, who, who knows that they're on the board of directors? John Rouseberger. Come on up, John. Jeremy Thomas, Jamie Kulo, who is in Greece. He's in Greece. <laughs> Somebody uh, had to do it. Uh, Larry Aiken. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is all who was here, who were here tonight. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Isn't this a great group up here? <clears throat> awesome. Directors of the Jonesboro Rotary Club. The club has been chosen to be led by your wisdom, enthusiasm, and experience. Use the Rotary International website for ideas and means of understanding and accomplishing your tasks. Without your willingness to organize the service and fellowship projects for our club, the club will gradually die away. Not only that, but our community will suffer because Rotary didn't come to their aid when they needed it. We are people of action. The Rotary Club of Jonesboro needs your time and energy to make this a great year for your community, our district, and the world. Determine how best to organize your area of responsibility to support our club goals. Listen to Rotary International President Stephanie Urchek's goals and help this club be simply irresistible is her other theme. Now please repeat after me when I give you the oath. I do solemnly pledge, I do solemnly pledge that I will fulfill, that I will fulfill the duties of my office. The duties of my office in the Jonesboro Rotary Club. In the Jonesboro Rotary Club. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. And that I will support President Chad. There you go. Record it, Chad. And that I will support President Chad. Recording. <laughs> <laughs> and I will abide by. Yeah, I think Terry does have that recording. <laughs> and I will abide by. And I will abide by. The Constitution. The Constitution. And bylaws of this club. And bylaws of this club. Officers and directors, help your district governor, Ron Pierce, and the other clubs in this district to continue to be a strong supporter of the foundation and our district initiatives. And as David mentioned, Jonesboro is one of the top clubs in this district. There are not many clubs. There were only 15 out of 53 that were platinum and triple crown. I commend you, I'm so proud of you because you're my club. We have a vibrant and growing district and it is because of officers and directors just like yourself that have made your clubs number one. Therefore, it makes our district the best. Demonstrate to our community that the magic of Rotary and service truly 
changes lives and changes the world. fellow Jonesboro members and guests, if you could please stand as I declare the new officers and directors are installed. Do we have them now? We do. <laughs> Chad, I give you this gavel to transfer the power from David to Chad, which is really cool. Father, son. <laughs> This is your fellow officers and directors that will lead us next year with the magic of Rotary. So nobody else, and I don't know how many of y'all got this, these are um, my Believe in the Magic of Rotary pens. So you all could have this to remember our theme of the magic of rotary <coughs> and to continue to serve I have our community <laughs> as we have done for years 40 years now. thank you so much for this honor i appreciate and i'm just so proud of all of y'all in this club thank you, thank you. Chad's got a few remarks, so I'm going I'm to turn it over to our brand new president, Chad Spivey. I appreciate everybody showing up tonight. It's an honor to be here and to be uh, nominated to be the next president of Jonesboro Rotary. I have been a little absent last year because when Dad uh, told me that I would be the next president, <laughs> told me, told me, I said, man, it, I'm, I said, well, coaching baseball and I'm working 12 days a week and there's only seven days in a week. And, uh, but at the end of the day, um, it's going to be a rock and roll year and I'm going to have some big shoes to fill because obviously I'm very competitive and Dad killed it last year. I mean, he really did. I, I don't even know how you, how you do all the stuff you do. We, we grew up in a house uh, having a mom and a dad who were self, uh, selfless servants of this community and around the state. And we got dragged to every nonprofit fundraiser. And <laughs> we grew up in Rotary, and it's just normal to us. And I think, how many times have you been president? Three times, right? Three times. So, um, I mean, it's just, it's amazing to, to have a father like that. And as much as him and mom served, us as children never felt like we were left out. I mean, he still had time to come teach me Jimi Hendrix songs and play bass and guitar in the, in the downstairs of our house for hours a night, um, coached my baseball team growing up. Uh, it's, he's been an amazing mentor to me and my brother. And it's a blessing to have a dad like this. everybody to step up, everybody to come up with ideas, to find things that you actually love and care about that you can bring to us so we can make a difference, um, whatever that may be. 
We have um, Rotary International. They have the district uh, foundation banquet in November. And the number one goal this year is to be having fun. We're gonna have a lot of fun. I'm a fun guy. I used to, when in my 20s and 30s, I would leave work early and go kayaking every day and I loved it. And that screwed me in my later years in life right now because now I'm working is more than I've ever worked. Uh, and I should have did that younger before I had kids. But it's, it's gonna be an awesome year. A couple things we have coming up is we're gonna schedule a kayak and float again. It's gonna be on a Saturday or a Sunday because indoor paddle, uh, they don't operate during the weekdays. And I'll work with Elia to get a link that we can all um, sign up and do a, a nice social event. We wanna have two big social events this year. Probably one at Depot, definitely one on the river, and maybe have a big pig picking somewhere and cook, cook pig all night or do something fun. But we want this to be a very fun year. Um, Rotary was established, this Jonesboro Rotary Club was established in 1985, and we were sponsored by the Sanford Rotary Club. Um, we'll celebrate our 40th anniversary this June, and we're going to continue to work closely with the Sanford Rotary Club and the, the Chatham County District 10 clubs, uh, Siler City and Pittsburgh. So plan on having a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, social networking with some of the other clubs around the district. And, and we can't, and Rotary is really all of us, you know, there always takes one person driving the ship, but it takes everybody in this room. I mean, if you're a Rotarian, you are blessed. If you live in America, you are blessed. We have it better than 99.9% .9 of the entire world. And it's our duty to serve those people that are in need because we're so blessed. So that's what we need to focus on. We have, I mean, Dad runs a print company. We have Ray Williams who discovered David Spivey and Elvis. Um, <laughs> we got Larry Thomas back there who's a semi-professional basketball player. Uh, I mean, uh, we got Mike Stegg who runs the best brewery in town. Give it up for Mike. Everybody in here is uh, is just a selfless servant. They're a step above Tom, Angel, Dr. Angel. We have doctors. We have Virginia basketball fans. Uh, last name is Austin. Uh, you know, Kevin Wins, the, the slyest looking, sleekest looking bass player in the world. Uh, but we got a lot of good folks here and got a lot of big hearts. And this year we really need to come together, work hard come up with some unique new goals and we're gonna have some good programs. I'm planning on getting like back to dirt to come here, talk about Sandley uh, Park dirt, dirt Trails, Joseph uh, Kill with Director of Parks of Lee County and uh, Rex, the directors of Lee County and Parks. Uh, we'll talk about all the new stuff we're doing. We're gonna have like some county commissioners come in so we can figure out what the county's doing with our taxes and everything else. Uh, we just have some different type of shapes at the programs. Uh, it's always good to have the nonprofits come in I think we're all aware of what the nonprofits do here, but to bring some other people, some fresh people in here to give you a different outlook about what's going on in our community and around the state. Uh, that's the goal. And as you know, uh, all the new members, $25 of your quarterly dues are allocated to the Rotary Foundation. And as of this month, June, uh, well, it was last month, June 2023, um, Jonesboro's all-time giving to the foundation is $348 and thousand uh, dollars as of today. So $348,000 that Jones Bros. contributed. <laughs> and uh, next February, we've already been approved for a $10,000 Rise Against Hunger grant. As you know, that's an awesome event we do each year. I mean, it's just amazing that we can pack that many meals in that short of time. And it goes out all over the world to help people that are suffering from major catastrophic events. So while we're sitting here complaining about long hours of work, there's some people that don't have any food, they don't have a house, and they've been displaced. And we need to concentrate on folks like that through these programs and get more volunteers, raise more money, and produce, um, produce more meals to help them. So that's an amazing feat. Um, we're hoping that every member will serve on a committee this year and not only serve, but be excited to serve. Uh, it's one thing to think it's a burden to be nominated for a position like this or any other position, but it's actually an honor, and when you get these moments in your life to, to serve other people in a capacity to create good in the world, then you need to step up and meet it head on, and that means getting help from your fellow Rotarian. Um, also, every satellite meeting will be, we're hoping to have at least 15 minutes of the satellite meeting to go to educating our satellite members on what Rotary is and what Rotary does this year. A lot of times we come to meetings and we don't even understand the group or the organization that we're involved with what they do and what their goal is or their mission. Um, 
We are 100% Paul Harris Club, and we have enough points uh, to easily do that again this year. Um, that's the goal. I'm not going to let him do anything that I can't do. <laughs> and we're going to do more. Uh, so that, that's, that's going to be a goal for this year. Um, the district involvement, we need club members to attend district training events. And district involvement and training is essential to growing this club and to have a successful year. And it, life is busy. We all have weekend plans, and a lot of us have kids doing things. But to attend one of these events one weekend out of your year, it's not that bad. And you actually will go and have fun, and you'll network, and you'll meet other Rotarians, people you went to school with in college, or just you know from Facebook or the social network that we live in. So try to attend some of these events this year. Um, grant training is required in order to receive funds. So we have to get these kind of training activities in to have funds to raise money to do you know, what we do with um, as far as making meals for kids around the world. I want to give it up for Larry Aiken. He's done an amazing job with Backpack Pals every single year, sending out emails, hustling everybody to get there so he doesn't just have to do it all by himself. Y'all so give a big round of applause for Larry Aiken. The District Achievement Awards, uh, the goal is a gold club at a minimum, but we would love to get platinum. Is that the highest level? Yeah. Uh, if it's, it's attainable. It's out there. We can do it, right? We're going to be like the Chicago Cubs with Michael Jordan and Scottie Pittman. We can do this. We've got a great team. Um, there's nothing that we can't accomplish if we all chip in and do our job. Um, of course, uh, the membership growth is essential. Like Dad mentioned, we gained 10 members last year. Um, the goal is, I didn't set a goal for this, but it shouldn't be, it should be easy to get 20 more members. I mean, this is going to be fun. When we go out and serve in the community, it shouldn't be a job. We, we all work our jobs. This should be fun. Uh, whatever we're doing together for laughing, having lighthearted uh, social connections, while doing good, we're working, but it doesn't feel like work. If anything, it's self-fulfillment. It makes you feel good. And to think about the kids in need and the hungry kids that you're feeding on the weekends, through backpack pals who don't have any food, who have single working moms and dads that don't have the time to spend with them or take them to the ball field and throw with them after, after school. It, it takes all of us chipping in to make sure those kids aren't left out. So um, it's just near to my heart. I'm coaching right now and I, I got to leave here and go to the ball field and it's hot as Hades out there. And <laughs> the parents were happy that I pushed it back to 7.30 tonight instead of 5. But, but there's a lot of kids that can't even make it to the ball practice, you know. We go pick them up. I mean, so there's a lot of work to do here in this county, not just around the world. So you really need to think about what you want to contribute this year, what's on your heart. Come to me, come to our board, and uh, we'll figure out how to accomplish our goals and, and, and do it. So I did write a speech over here at the table when I was sitting there because my speech writer, who I, I just read all this, you know, that's dad, obviously. <laughs> I was really good at chemistry and math, and my English was horrible. Uh, I was raised by country people who taught this crazy dialect, and I sounded a lot of my words out different when I grew up. So, um, here's, here's uh, I'll leave you with this, and then you can go back to drinking beer and socializing. Um, with so much drama in the county of Lee, it's kind of hard finding time for Rotary, but I somehow, some way, keep coming up with funky ass schemes like every single day. <laughs> May I get a little something from my Rotarians? Make a few ends as I breeze through two in the morning because we're still doing good because my mom ain't home. <laughs> I got kids needing food trying to make ends meet, and they ain't leaving until we get them some meats. With backpack pals and bags of food, we're having some fun and service above self spreading all the love. Nothing better than Rotary is to represent, and it's an honor for me to serve as your president. So, <laughs> We've got three weeks, three $100 tickets to pay. And the, the two 250s, two 500s, and one 1,000. So we're going to be busy for a few minutes. And uh, so bear with me. I need. Uh, 
Past President Mr. Spivey okay. to draw the first ticket. And this is for a hundred dollars, right? One hundred dollars. All right, and the winner is Jack Harris, sold by Carl Harris. All right. All right. All right. Yes. Yes. Miss Debbie, please come and draw a ticket for us, please. Dig at the bottom. You can announce it, if you would, please. Addie Haddock and Miss Lersold. All right. President elect Peggy Captain. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to say I do at the end of that oath, and I was getting a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Addie Haddock again. The proceeds from this raffle goes to our charitable budget, charitable budget. So we'll, I think this generates probably seven or eight thousand dollars. Would you say, Jim? Uh, we, yes. <clears throat> Jack Garrett. Come 
Grace Aiken. No. <laughs> Oh, I just said. I to make gray. So this person. Thousand. Uh oh. Big money. All right. Would the woman who puts up and tolerates with my tired old butt come up and draw the final, final draw? Who I can make happy. Thousand dollars. Pick my dollar. All right, John. We can't do that. Wow. I know we can't do that. Yes, you can. It's one of our granddaughters. Ruby Terrell. Ruby Terrell, our 12 year old girl. here that wants a check tonight, I've got my checkbook. So uh, you can uh, <laughs> But thank you all for your wonderful support. And uh, we will probably bother you again next year. Probably. Everyone, uh, thanks for coming. We've had a wonderful evening. Uh, if you want to hang around a little bit longer, have another drink, Maybe that'll be wait. fine. But John, would you mind closing us Maybe. with the play? Yeah, and, and remind everyone that you need to pay on the way out. If you oh, that's to right. Pay on the way out. Fifteen dollars per head. If you haven't already, and would you right. close us with yeah, the yeah, play? Yeah, we Okay. Please join me as we recite the four-way test of the things we think, say, and do. First, is it the truth? Is it fair at all concern? Will it build goodwill and better friendships? Will it be beneficial to all concerned? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, 